Hey, what's going on guys? So what I want to do today is make an upgraded uh, spoiler mount for the VRX cars because the original ones, this is two pieces, I've just glued them to get together, but they are very weak, the original ones, I mean, you could probably bend that and snap it. So what I've done is I've traced out the around about the same shape, uh, a little bit more plastic as you can see, just to make it a little bit stronger even again, but this is my six mil uh, clear plastic that I always use for chassis plates and stuff like that so I'll um I'll get cracking With this little tiny file, I'll actually round this off to fit the uh, spoiler actually on this piece. It should do, I reckon. It's pretty round. So we know that this hole needs to be drilled for the spoiler to be mounted to. I probably should have started with a smaller drill piece, but... That'll do the job for now. Alright, so again, I don't look for precision, I just sort of guess where it's supposed to be. And to me, it looks like the middle of this bottom piece here. So I'm just going to go for it and drill a hole. And then I'll match the top one. Oh, that went into my finger. Oh, sh <laughs> guys, don't do that. Watch where you're drilling. That went halfway into my finger. So now I'm going to band-aid and finish it off. Alright guys, so just remember, don't drill into your finger, and as I can see, muscle, it's gone pretty deep, so yeah, just beware, <laughs> drills can hurt if you don't use them properly, and I definitely didn't use it properly then. So this is where the real guesstimation comes in, and as you can see, they're, they're not quite the same um, shape that side. I just matched this side up to get around about the same height and everything to the original spoiler. And I'll just mark it. As you can see the hole here is a little bit lower than this one, so I'm going to mark this a little bit lower as well. That should do. I'll drill that out, avoiding the finger. Now this one needs to be tapped to M3 I think, you could go M4 if you want it a bit stronger. And I'm going to use my little low speed uh, drill for it, just so it's not, oh hello, just so it's not um, too dramatic. I'm actually going to have to drill this out as well to M3. And as I said, I may as well drill this out as well. well that didn't work properly. Trial and error, guys, trial and error.
and that'll do. That's perfect for me. I'll make the other one and I'll test fit. So I managed to get them both done in about an hour and a half, which is pretty good. They're not exact, but as I said, I'm not looking for precision. I'm looking for practicality and strength, which these are going to be much stronger than the originals. So yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with that. Um, the way I made these is pretty much how I make all my custom braces and mod parts, like the center braces here and the, the body posts, which they're just made out of the darker plastic that I've got. And I think I've even got a couple of other little braces. Yeah, I've got the front brace on that just to stop any major, major damage in the front, which it does help a lot of the time. And I've got the skid plate sort of mono bar, wheelie bar at the back as well. Which that so I mainly wanted to do this video just to show that it's not really that hard to make little mod pieces and stuff. You know, you don't need fancy tools. You don't need CNC machines and stuff. You can get a nice... Not 100% precise, but a nice enough finished product with just very basic tools. So yeah, guys, uh, I'm very happy with that. Looks good. It's going to be strong. Yeah. As always, guys, cheers. Catch us in the next video and stay safe. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and feel free to leave any comments or questions down below.